guys, it's me, and I haven't made a video in a really, really long time, but I figured that I could try starting again once more. Um, this time I'm in college, I'm at WSU Tech for Vet Tech, so that's always fun. I have stuff all over my face somehow. Oh, it's probably from messing with my tank. Um... But I now have multiple more pets. <laughs> multiple more pets. Like, that makes sense. Um, but I think my first video that I'm going to start when I do start it is going to be about my dog, Tessa. And how to take care of a miniature schnauzer. Um, I also have a ball python now. And I also have a hognose snake. Um, my boyfriend has gotten a crested gecko, so I'll talk about doing that. I have a tank getting ready for a crusty gecko. Um, this is also a new room I'm living in, and I think the next pet after Tessa would probably be how to take care of a betta fish or beta fish, depending on how you want to say it. Um, but I have a lot to do over, and then I'll probably also have a, um, another section on science, mainly on bio, like. Um, like, like all the different biological stuff that's been happening, you know, global warming, um, animals going extinct, um, angel, angels, animals in endangerment, um, a bunch of that stuff and coming out of endangerment and, you know, uh, what we should really do about, like, kill shelters and stuff like that and just a lot of stuff like that. I, I really am going to try to focus on doing all that. Um... And I'm going to try to get a better, better camera in the future. <laughs> I actually downgraded. Um, my phone that I had before this was absolutely amazing. If you ever can get it, I suggest the LG G4, I believe is what I had. I now have the LG K20 something or whether. I don't know. It's a knockoff. I'm not really a knockoff, but it's a, it's a poor man's phone. <laughs> Which is fine. It's a great phone. It does what it needs to do. Um, the camera quality is just crap compared to it, though. Um, I also do plan on getting one of those attachment cameras on the back so I can take amazing photos. Um, purely not just for making YouTube videos, but I also plan on being a reptile breeder, not just a vet technician. Um, or vet veterinarian, depending on how far I decide to go with my education. Um, but I definitely plan on doing that and maybe I might do vlogs every once in a while on crazy things that are happening, um, maybe I'll even take you to the Reptile Expo and stuff like that, like I have been saying I would do, but I haven't done. Um, the Reptile Expo in Kansas, I will forewarn you, is not that great, it's just a little miniature place in a tiny, tiny building, um, well not really tiny, it's in a hotel, um, just not, it is. It doesn't have a lot. It's been growing slowly, like the past three years that I've been going, it's growing. Um, the first two years was pretty, pretty small. There was hardly anything there besides a few reptiles. But this last year that I went was absolutely amazing. They had so much from, to choose from, so much stuff. It was absolutely great. Um, I really enjoyed it that time. Um, I'll probably be talking about the school I go to and what I'm doing and I might even try to help um, myself as well as other people who are going into veterinary or even in high school or something like along those lines of um, your your basic day-to-day -day classes. Um, right now I'm in bio and ICP I believe is what they call it, interpersonal communications. Um, right, so I guess it'd be IPC. Um, interpersonal communications class is just talking about how to talk to people one-on-one -on -one, um, and like getting into the details of how like why this conversation went that way and how you can make your conversation better and blah 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 it, it's a class that you have to take for at WSU Tech for uh, multiple programs um, and then bio everybody knows what biology is you know the study of life um, and so I'll probably be talking about that. Right now we're in chapter one, you know, the basics of bio, um, your cells, you know, the very basic of life is cells and stuff like that. 
uh, I'll probably be trying to do that to help myself as well as help you guys. Um, and then I might even do some art stuff related. Like as you can see, I have plastic chameleons in the background. They're not really, I guess they're plastic, but they're 3D printed. So I might even talk about that, uh, 3D sculpting and stuff like that. Um, I might also be talking about the artworks and my binder that I keep for my pets. Um, this is a future tattoo that I plan on getting. Um, it's not 100% there, but I mean it's there. I really like the design that I have chosen. It's um, at least as the reptile itself, which is a leopard gecko for those who don't know. Um, the plant in the middle, I'm not 100% sure if I'm fine with. I think I could really touch up on that. Um, but I do have multiple stuff in this binder. Like I have um, my art stuff that I need to work on, like different reptiles. I need to make one with snakes, tortoises, and stuff like that. But that's just for different sections of this binder. Um, and then later to sell. So, and then I have another section for my selling. I have my art, my 3D printing, you know, and then I have sections underneath 3D printing and my plants and stuff like that. I might, but I even talk about plants, um, and how to care for certain plants. Um, and maybe even bioactive tanks, because right now that's all I have is bioactive. At my house, I have bioactive. At David's house, I don't have bioactive bioactive quite yet. We're still working on it, especially with the Crested Gecko. Um, we're working on getting that set up. Uh, I have like my own personal pets information and care. Um, like I said, right now I have a ball python and a hognose living with me. The hognose is technically David's. Um, it is for, I got it for our four year anniversary and the ball python that I have now was for Christmas from him to me. Um, and I keep track of their weight and everything, that's what this is for, and where they're from, and stuff like that, especially when I decide to get into breeding, just to get in the habit of keeping records of everything. I have records of the lizards, I have records of my ferrets, I have records of my dogs. I try to make sure that I keep records of those kind of things, especially the dogs. Um, I also have a section, since I'm now working at a pet store, not like your normal day-to-day -day pet store, it's a mom-and-pop pet store, so it's one of the better options if you had to go to a pet store for something, you know, I mean, granted, a lot of people have to go to the pet store to get, like, feeders or supplies, you know, like your bulbs and stuff like that, so not, pet stores aren't terrible, especially when it comes to pets, I think my pet store is really great, especially since it is a mom-and-pop shop, um, I have a lot of great things to say about it. And I might even talk about, you know, being in there, um, Olympic, Olympian gods, or I think it's how they, Olympus, Olympus gods, or something along those lines, they're reptile breeders, and they own their own reptile shop here in Kansas, um, they came and visited us and did a video in Tales and Scales as well, um, so they already touched up on some of the things that we have there, um, so I have a bunch of animal care guides, you know, and not just reptiles and, and stuff like that. I also have like fish in here, how to take care of certain fish and like um, just all that kind of stuff and I'm going to be putting pictures in between for every type of species like I'm going to have one for snakes so one for or yeah I think one for snakes, one for lizards, one for tortoises and reptiles and stuff like that just all that I, that's what my main drawings are for and then I have um, a back area that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with quite yet. Um, but I do, I do have a binder for that reason. Um, and I'll probably be getting in more detail on how to do that stuff or what I do with that. Um, and what I plan on doing with my breeding and how to keep track of all my breeding stuff and how I'm going to post and stuff like that. Um, I also have I'll probably be updating you on the stuff that I've been doing right now I am broke as heck because of my car my car has been broke been breaking down constantly right now I'm actually in debt um, because of my car I owe my dad a hundred and something odd dollars for my alternator my boyfriend bought my battery for me so I don't have to pay him back because he got fried it on accident um, and then, uh, right now the one thing that's wrong with my car is one of my fuse connectors is going bad right now, um, and 
So we're, tr we're getting that ordered so that way I don't have to worry about that because today my car was just not having it. <laughs> um, luckily I was able, as long as I'm able to wiggle it or something, it will start right up for me. Or if I am um, get jumped, I'm able to leave from place to place. It's just a fact of starting it up. It doesn't want to start up from when you turn it off. So um, I also have to fix my EGR valve, I have to fix my speedometer, my speedometer is going bad. Um, every once in a while I'll just be like, I'm not reading it today. I'm gonna have fun realizing how fast you're going. Um, and then I also have a knocking sensor, which isn't important to me. Um, I probably will fix it just so that way it's fixed. <laughs> um, I also have to fix my back windshield, or my back windshield, my, the back window on my driver's side. It's one of those triangle pieces I have to fix. Um, that's busted. Um, I also have to fix my back windshield, but it's not because the glass is broken. It's because whoever put the tent over it sucked, and I have to take it off because I can't hardly see out of my back window. Um, I also fix my rear view mirror too. But that's a lot of information I have for you guys today. Um, I hope to be making more videos and making more. Uh, information videos and stuff like that. I think the section on the science will be probably called discovery or science discovery news or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure I'm still working on that. Um, but you all have a wonderful day and goodbye.